Welcome back to another reaction video, y'all. It's your boy Cam back at it again with another reaction video, y'all. If you're not a part of the Cam fam, make sure to hit that mip, subscribe, and if you like the video, to like button because you're going to do it here. Today we're reacting to Girls Generation. It is called Gee. I think that's the name of the song. Correct me inside the comment section below, you guys. I appreciate you guys. Look, the love that I've been getting on the channel, you guys, from every last one of you guys, you guys have been so supportive. Because like I said, I don't know much about K-pop. And so the fact that you guys have been so warm and welcoming to me, I appreciate you guys. Because a lot of other communities, I get roasted away, you guys, inside the comment section below. So I just want to say much love to every last one of you. But yeah, I've never heard of Girls, girls Generation before. Let me know how you guys feel about their music inside the comment section below. But yeah, let's hop into the video. I'm excited. You could definitely tell that this came out a while ago, you guys. I didn't even check when the actual date, release date of this. This is, you could tell even the style of like how people dressed like this guy, how he's dressed, maybe like 2008, 2007 or something like that. You know, like this, this is a completely different era. So I'm really excited to see how K-pop has came along since this. Like I know it's made like multiple transitions. So I'm, I'm excited for this, you guys. Really excited. You guys, no, 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 no. They trained 100%. There's no way they were the dolls the whole time. There's no way. There's no way. There's no freaking way. I, I I, refuse to believe it, you guys. I, I have to rewind that. There's no way they were the dolls the whole time. This is dope. This is one of the best concepts I've ever seen inside a freaking music video, you guys. Honestly, I thought they were freaking dolls. I'm not joking. I'm not playing that up. That's mind blowing. This is great. Why don't people talk about girls' generation? I, I I don't get it. I I feel like there's like certain groups. Blackpink is like the most talked about. You guys, I've heard about Blackpink. You guys, I, I you know now that I've listened to the music, but I I was hearing about Blackpink all the freaking time. I've never heard of Girls' Generation, and so let me know what happened to their group. Are they still around now? Are they just maybe less popular? Let me know inside the comment section below. I'm genuinely interested. But the music is good to me personally. I think it's good. In America, we called that the stanky leg. I don't know if you guys know what the stanky leg, but it was a very popular dance when I was in high school. Dude, the stanky leg. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of them in this group, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sheesh. Like, I've noticed this that in some K pop groups, they have a lot of them, a lot of people. And then other K pop groups, they only have maybe like four to five. I like, I, I feel like for me, I, I, I don't know. I feel like it'd be a really difficult being in a group, like a K pop group, with this many freaking people. Because I feel like 
you have to wait to practice with all these people. You're having to deal with so many different personalities and stuff like that. And then I feel like it's kind of inevitable for like people to leave. Like I've heard EXO, they had a lot of people leave, but they have nine members in the freaking group. Of course you're going to have people leave. Like, cause that's just so many people, like so many different personalities, so many possibilities to butt heads, you know? And I, I don't know. I'm not saying that that happened with this group. I just feel like it just really opens the realm. Like with four people, you can know, understand someone's personality and actually like maybe deal with it a little bit more. It's a little bit less stressful in my personal opinion, but who knows you guys. Let me know inside the comment section below what you think. I will say this, like like I said, this is a lot simpler of a song. It's got less of a bad girl vibe. Like I've noticed that like the more recent K-pop has got a little bit more of a bad girl vibe. Uh, more women with a little bit more attitude. This is more upbeat. This is more cheerful. I love this as well. I, I feel like, but you could definitely tell this is an older school style of K-pop. They're only doing a couple of scenes, you guys. Like newer school K-pop, bro. There's like 50,000 transitions. We would have seen like six, seven freaking different uh, environments by now. And I feel like even the actual video quality is like movie quality at this point. Like it's mind blowing. Like K-pop has the best music videos. Yes, I said it. The best music videos. Them and NF. Like NF the rapper, man, best quality freaking videos you'll ever freaking see, you guys. Um, but yeah, this is definitely just a different style. I'm sure for a different time, you know? I will say this, they do have quite a bit of people actually singing throughout the actual video. I feel like everybody's getting to be a little bit funny, playful. I really enjoy that they're having them try on clothes. They're have, you know, they're like trying on clothes together. They're talking to each other about the different clothes they have on. I think it's really cute, you guys. I feel like this is just a different version of what K-pop is now. K-pop is a lot more edgier now. Even EXO and uh 80s and pink black pink um they're they're just it's it's a lot different now but i feel like even then like i feel like when i like watch anime and they talk about k-pop it's kind of like this not what it is now if that makes sense like even anime depicts it like this right like whenever a girl inside an anime show she says she wants to be like a pop idol right she says that she wants to be like this like they, the songs are like that but anyways you guys let's hop back into it but I like it. The dancing is on point, you guys. Like, I don't know if you're noticing, but their choreography, look right here. I'm going to pause it right here. Everybody's doing the same move, right? If they're not out of unison, the singing, the hook is absolutely infectious. I'm telling you, I, I'm going to have these dang hooks. My girlfriend is going to get freaking annoyed with me because I'm going to be singing these all the freaking time. Because I feel like that's the thing about K-pop. The freaking 
it has such an addictive quality to it. Like, it's so freaking good. Um, but the really the choreography in here is really good. It's simple but effective. And that's what matters, you guys. Like I said, it matches the song. The clothing matches the song. The tempo, the hook, all of that. Like, the overall package matches the actual song. I love that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they say daddy, daddy, daddy? What? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, they definitely said daddy, daddy, daddy. Are they talking about their actual father or are they talking about, you know? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that. You guys get what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be killing me in the comment section below, but uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> That was some good choreography right there. I mean, look at that, you guys. The simple but effective. The transitions, they're just going front to back, right? Somebody's, right? And then when they were done, move back, right? And then the person, other person, moves forward. Simple but effective. You see? Like, I feel like these were the stepping stones for where choreography is now, right? In K-pop. Like, simple but effective. <laughs> That was cool. That was actually really cool. I have to say that that was really Chris how they did this and then the girl jumped at the end. That was really cool. And they do, they do have quite a bit of different formations too. Like they've been in a lot of different dancing formations and they've been doing it pretty well. I have to say, like, I haven't seen any major mess ups at all. Like, you know, like maybe out of sync a little bit, but not even enough to where like maybe where the hands don't go up maybe at the exact same time. But I'll tell you this, like there's nine members. It, it really does make it that difficult. Like in my personal opinion, like you can see minor little details, but it's not bad. Like the actual choreography is really good for nine members, you guys, nine. <laughs> This is fire, you guys. I personally love this. I thought it was really good. I think it really showed me how far K-pop has come. Let me know how you guys feel about this one inside the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 9,000 subscribers, so hit the subscribe button. But yeah, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.